Hi, I'm Peter and I will show you how this flexi kangaroo was made. The kangaroo has an articulated head, arms, legs, tail and also has a little joy that can be carried in the kangaroo. I will briefly mention the print setup and post processing to get to result you see. So let's start. First I need a model. The model was created by Flexi Factory and can be downloaded from cult3d.com. The link is in the description. The material I chose was natural PLA from Europol. At this time they have natural PLA on sale and I have good experience with it, so why not? I want to make the kangaroo a bit bigger and since my print bed is 35 by 35 cm, I increased the size of the model in the slicer to 180%. Because I plan post-processing and prefer longer printing to long sending, the layer height is set to 0.11 mm. I make the first layer higher and also with more material to increase the adhesion of the first layer. I also usually do a larger skirt which allows me to fine tune the nozzle height above the bed for the first layer using baby steps. 8% fill should be enough. Then correct the temperature setting which should also correspond to the speed. Now I can slice, check the result and upload the GCO to the printer. At this size, fine layer height and speed, the kangaroo is printed in 20 hours and 45 minutes. A small joey takes 2 hours at the same settings. After printing the model, I can move on the post-processing phase which is of course more time consuming than printing. First, basic cleaning. The kangaroo is printed without a support which is in this case advantage. If there are small pieces of filament or strings on it, this needs to be removed. The print is clean, so it's quick and basically work free. Also, the model was printed with a layer height of 0.11 mm. It needs to be sanded to make it smooth. I use a car filler from a local shop and the model is sprayed with the filler and dried. For fast drying, I can put the model in the printer, close the door and rise the bed temperature. My printer has a ventilation to the outside to keep the smell out. Once the filler has dried, I can start sanding. As this is a PAL, wet sanding is better. The material doesn't get as hot and also does not create dust, but a paste that can be easily washed off. I use 240 grit, 400 grit and for really fine tuning 600 grit sandpaper. The cycle of spraying the filler, drying and sanding the filler can be repeated until the model is smooth enough. In this case I did the cycle twice. When the model is smooth enough I spray primer on it. For models like this I use a cheap primer from a local shop suitable for plastics. I usually do two thin coats of primer and then wait for it to dry. The next stage is painting. I use a brush but I don't have much experience with it. I am still learning and probably making a lot of mistakes. I have some cheap airbrush spray gun and I would like to buy a better one. Please let me know in the comments what spray gun you use and recommend. Also what colors do you use? If you are still watching at the moment I would be grateful if you give a like, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. The last thing is to apply a glossy acrylic varnish. This should prevent the paint from scratching and give the model more shine. Kangaroo is finished and I must thank you for watching. Thank you for your support.